Hi, I'm Delia Sherman, and I wrote The Freedom Maze, which is a historical novel that was published by Candlewick. <laughs> I actually can answer this question. I, the, my earliest memory of writing a story is when my mother gave me a little teeny tiny book. It was about this big, and it had a little chicken on the front. And it was, it had like seven pieces of paper in it, folded in half, or in tiny pieces. And I dictated to her a story about a chicken and an egg and a fox and running away. And that I was, pos I couldn't write yet, so I must have been three or four or five. I am the most proud of the magic bits. There are parts of it where magic takes place, and it's about um, Yoruba voodoo. And I did a fair amount of research on it when I was in New Orleans, and I also, one of my former students, is a voodoo priest. And he was instrumental in, in telling me exactly how to write those magical parts. And when I read them, I really feel this kind of sense of something happening, which is really quite wonderful. Um, and I never could have, I never could have imagined that I could have, have, have engaged with it at that level. The perfect reader for this book is somebody who really likes the idea of magic adventures and has read of a certain number of books um, in which magic adventures take place and they will be able to tell what the jokes I'm making about, um, about how adventures don't always turn out the way they're supposed to and they don't always turn out the way they are so that, that they do in, in books where the adventure is more the point than the growth of the, of, of, of the main character. And, um, and, you know, basically I want a reader that gets my jokes. <laughs> I think actually the best advice I've ever been given is both, which is don't give up. Um, you can, you, I, I won't say don't be discouraged because of course you're going to be discouraged. Both living and writing are very hard work. But if you do it anyway, if you just go ahead and say, okay, somebody said that this wasn't all that good, or somebody said that I really made a bad mistake, or that I can't spell for little green apples, which I can't, um, you just go ahead and say, fine, I'm going to keep doing this anyway, and eventually I will get it to the point where you will like it. Trust me, you'll see. Oh, I know. Somebody, a woman wrote me and said that she went out in the backyard and her kids, her, her daughter was playing with another kid and she was trying to figure out what, what it was they were playing. And she asked her and she said, um, she said she was playing Sophie. And I just, that is like a dream come true to me that some kid goes out and takes my characters and wants to play them in the bigger world and to make up a story around a character I made up, that which is very much what, what I did when I grew up. And so I feel as if, I feel as if I've arrived. <laughs> um, the problem with one, I write historical fiction, so I have lots of opinions. Um, the trouble is that, that because I'm nearsighted and I have asthma and lots of allergies, I would probably last 4.3 seconds. But that being said, um, I, I started out life as a scholar, and what I was was a Shakespearean scholar. And um, in, in my degrees in um, non-Shakespearean Renaissance drama, and I want to go to the theater. And, 1600. I just, I really, or well, 1602, because I'd like to see King Lear. But I would really, really love to be able to do that. But, you know, not for very long because it smelled horrible and the food was just vile.